This short video will show you how to configure Putty Connection Manager to record screens and put them into text files. For this project I've created a folder and uh, inside that folder I've created a pretend customer visit and uh, there you can see the, the share folders and things and uh, I've got one uh, folder there saying console screen logging and this on the bottom right there is where the files will appear if all goes well. And you can see different folders for different purposes uh, to support the customer. Okay, let's fire up Putty Connection Manager. And we'll create a database. Oh, this is very, very important. Always uncheck hide when minimized. Uh, this will save you hours of grief. Um, there's the default is to hide or minimize. This is the whole program and it just doesn't come back, Putty Connection Manager. So make it sure it's unchecked. Right, let's create a database. My theme today is Thunderbirds, as you may have guessed from the introduction. And this is uh, some of the uh, names I'm going to call. Tracy Island is the name of the database, just to make it more interesting. I'm going to create a folder for consoles. So I'm just going to copy paste and change the name so I've got uh, consoles if I need to okay I'm going to use the oh, I'm going to save the database and I'm going to point it at the uh, folder uh, for putty there we go and give it the same name Tracy Island Okay, let's create a host. For that, I'm going to use these names, Thunderbird 1, Thunderbird 2, and so on. And the IP addresses are there. And um, these are some show commands which are useful sometimes. It all depends on what lab you're doing, but sometimes it's useful just to copy-paste these in and you get the same result. Connection wizard, and we're going to go straight in and make a host. Thunderbird 1. Put in the management IP address. We're using Telnet in this case. And um, I'm going to auto login as well, so admin and password. And that just saves having to log in each time and finish park it into the telnet folder and there it is Thunderbird 1 I'm going to save the little asterisk there means that nothing's been saved and it's saved we do a right click on that and look at the configuration and look at the putty session there it is you see that the session is default settings which is basically don't record anything So let's go and create a new session for it. So I'm going to go into, as you saw there, create a name here. This is in the putty part of it. Logging on or something like that I'll put. And then save. Okay, there it is. Now go into the session logging. I'm going to say print printable output so you don't get any weird characters. Um, point at the folder where I want to put these files into. There's my customer lab and console screen logging. And I'm going to call it putty for now. You'll see why in a minute. Save. Now when you look very carefully here there's an explanation. It shows if you put and y, that's, that's the year, month, date, and t for time, and h for host. So this is great because these variables will be um, 
change to whatever particular uh, name of host you're connecting to. So I'm put host there and host and the year and so on. So this will create a file name appropriate for the host name and the time that you're actually doing the console login. You want to say always append, that's your own preference there. And it'll appear here once the uh, I've selected it. Close. Ah, be careful, do not close, it doesn't work. Go back to session and save. This has got me hours of messing about. So now it's saved. If it did close before, it wouldn't save anything, and you wonder what's going on. So let's just fire this off. Uh, oh, we'll make some. So I'm going to make another one. A quick way to do this is to copy what you've got, make another host and paste. And then you get two the same, and then just a right click edit and just change the, the host name and the IP address. That, that way you don't have to add in the username and passwords and stuff. Okay, and I'll just do one for the third one. So copy, select the folder, paste, right click, configuration, da di da da. Do you like that? Okay, so this would log in now with the default putty configuration. So I'm going to go in here and change it so I can record the screens. There's my logging on. Uh, okay. And then I'll double click to log in. Uh, what happened there? Maybe I didn't select. Ah, uh, okay. I think here I'm just showing you how you can drag and drop to have two screens on at the same time. Fair enough. Let's kill these uh, screens and then go back and turn on logging, so to speak. Go back to Thunderbird 1, right click, configuration. Putty session, default settings, logging on, apply. Okay, and it says logging on there. And then OK. Double click to get in. And you see a file name suddenly pop up there. So anything on the screen now gets appended to that file name. I'm just going to go and copy some of the text, the show commands. Uh, that I've done previously. Term length zero is great because that uh, means that if you do a show run or show log, it, it runs all the way through. It doesn't pause waiting for you to uh, you know, press enter after so many lines. So I'm going to put those all in one go. And they got a bit of DBM power at the end. And then we're going to double click this, select a Appropriate, there it is, uh, text, notepad, and uh, there's the copy. So what happens if you open a different host? Let's go open up this guy, so configure, putty session, logging on, apply, OK, double click. Oh, I'm doing, uh, why did I do that? My mistake there, I think. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Number two. Oh, I'm going to go for configurations again for number three. Putty session. Default settings logging on. Apply. So now all three will be logging. So I should have see another two folders created, making three files rather than folders. There they are. So doing it this way, you you have a you end up with a notepad file name uh, unique and separated for each host. Great. And if you want to turn it all off, go back to configuration, putty, and just put the default back in, and it turns the 
Still there, logging off. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.